First we have using work plane visibility. This allows us to turn on the work plane grid. There's a button called show. Show work plane. When you turn on the work plane, you get this bluish graph paper. When you select the boundary, you see the grips. I'm going to rotate this thing. Now when you select the boundary and you adjust the grips, uh, that can constrain it or confine it to where you want to work and I'm going to rotate it back. You can also set the spacing of the grid. Now once you've got this uh, work plane visible, now you can sketch walls and the graph paper affects how the walls relate to this drawing area. Makes it a lot easier to snap to specific angles. Unfortunately for MEP users, it doesn't work on duct and pipe. Just uh, they haven't wired it to be sensitive to the uh, work plane. So not very helpful for those guys, but, but pretty darn good for plans when we're trying to deal with this sort of stuff for architecture. Now we've got rotating a crop boundary. This just takes the crop boundary feature of any floor plan and allows us to manipulate it and change the orientation of the view. First thing I want to do is duplicate the view so I don't mess with the existing ones. And again, remember, views are just reports. You can have as many of them as you need. And in this case, I want one that's rotated to a different angle. Now I'm typing in the rotation of 121 degrees because I happen to know that's the angle of the wall that I'm dealing with. And the angle is relative to horizontal here. So when I turn on the crop boundary, there it is. Now when I select it, the wall I'm interested in is this angular wall here. And it, I'd like it to be horizontal across the screen, so I'd like to rotate the view so that that leg of the building is horizontal. So I'm going to rotate the view by 121 degrees. And I'm rotating the crop boundary 121 degrees, not the model. And that's a little strange to get your head wrapped around. Now I can crop the view down easily. Uh, there we go. Start cropping it down. And then I can start drawing walls, doors, and windows as if I was dealing with an orthogonal view instead of dealing with something that's at 121 degrees. Using scope boxes. Last one. So these guys with the green dashes, these boxes are scope boxes. If I use the scope box tool, view scope box, I can draw a new one off to the side here. They also have a vertical extents. Uh, you can only see that in 3D views or elevations. Uh, so I'm typing in a nice name. The scope box does give you a height value when you first create one, but you got to pay attention to the options bar to catch it. So now I'm rotating it just to show that you can, like you can a crop, uh, crop boundary anyway. If I rotate it 15 degrees, there are some uh, occasions where the rotation is in the wrong direction and if you want to reorient it, you can rotate it back either 90 or 180 to kind of re... to spin the model around the other direction. Uh, so I'm going to create another view, duplicate this one, so that I can manipulate this view by its crop, uh, crop region assigned to the scope box. So scope box, assign it to my scope box, and now the view's cropped. When you select the crop region, you'll find that the blue grips that would be there ordinarily to change the width and height of the box is gone. They're gone. My, the scope box has taken ownership of it. So if I were to manipulate things in this view, grabbing the scope box, then the crop region would increase or decrease. Now I'm drawing walls in there. Now if I was really smart, I would have drawn those walls in the cropped view so that they would be easier to draw them orthogonally, so to speak. Okay, so last thing I'll be thinking about here in a moment is uh, just showing you that each of these scope boxes has been placed on a sheet. Uh, that means that each view that's constrained by a scope box is easy to manipulate, organize on documents so that the views make, uh, make our life easier when we're trying to work on them and when we're trying to share the information with our readers. Hope it helps.